saying that there is some footage of me putting my shelf together where it's all was slow-mo it was all slow-mo so I'm gonna speed it up and show you guys in a montage what I did for my shelf and I'll show you guys right now break um, I just brought one of the shelves that I cleared off upstairs downstairs I just put it in the garage to, well, I'm still waiting on my other shelf to be delivered so I can finish the rest of my office I'm so excited to get it like it's not gonna be officially done but it's gonna be done like you know I mean, there's some stuff I would like to change around get rid of but replace it with something else but for right now just gonna do what I got you know but um I'm about to make some Swedish meatballs. Um, I'm using ground pork and ground beef. I have um, the 96% lean, 4% fat ground beef and some pork. Pork got enough fat for everything, you know. Um, and then I, instead of doing the seasonings, I just got this Swedish meatball mix right here. So we're going to do this and I'm going to follow the meatballs based on back here. I, I know how to make meatballs. I just don't make them that often, so I'm just going to follow this recipe. Um, I am going to make... Don't mind me, y'all. My lips are so dry. I'm hella thirsty, though. Let me grab some water. Hold on. Whew. I've been moving. Taking a break making these meatballs and mashed potatoes and roasted vegetables i was supposed to make these yesterday for easter but i wasn't feeling good the hubby wasn't feeling good we literally went out got food at a place that was open and called it a day so i'm not making all these but i'm making some homemade mashed potatoes um i haven't bought i couldn't tell you the last time i bought box mashed potatoes so I'm just gonna cook. I'm filming on my phone because my camera is upstairs and I've been walking so much I do not want to go back up the stairs just to come back down the stairs just to go back up the stairs. I know that sounds lazy but if you guys realized over the past few days how many times I went up and down the stairs you would understand. Oh, I've just been cleaning but this has also been helping me to burn calories even though it's um not like working out calories it's still been, i still been burning calories so literally i've been wearing my watch from sun up to sundown like normally like i know a lot of people sleep with it on and stuff but i rather not i don't want to feel it vibrating on my wrist all night i'm a light sleeper and no i know you can put on sleep mode but sometimes you know when you put people in your favorites and those notifications come through and you know it's just a whole mess i don't want to have to deal with that so i take it off when i go to bed but anywho, let me stop jaw jacking and uh, cook, okay? Oh, one of my best friends messaging me on Instagram. But okay, hands are washed. Let's prep this stuff. And I also forgot to say that I also have a load of laundry started. I have two loads to wash and I'm gonna wash those. And all while the hubby's sick and I'm taking care of him, you know gotta be superwoman some days. <laughs>
go over to the store real quick. Um, and the hubby needs a prescription. And I'm trying to do that before the snow comes. Because right now it's just raining. Right now it's just raining. So hold on one second. Please. My um, other TikTok package was delivered, and it didn't even tell me it was delivered. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this pimple needs to go away. It was a white head, and now it's just a head. Um, I have to run to the pharmacy. Um, I want a fish sandwich. I'm gonna stop and get a fish sandwich because I haven't eaten anything, and it's like after 11 o'clock um and i still look a hot mess yes i do and i don't care because your girl is being productive today so i just put on some joggers and ran out the door so um yeah just grab a little things but once i'm done cleaning i'm gonna take me a nice shower wash probably wash my hair just get myself together because I've been a bum for the past few days but that's because I've been cleaning the house so that's why I've been looking like a bum really luckily I was paying attention people don't know how to drive man I swear they don't pay attention like I'm vlogging and I'm still paying more attention than these people But anywho, let me drive because like I said, it's raining. Get these little errands knocked out and then get home and finish my room. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Out and about. My sister just picked me up because um, I had to come with her so she could drop off the rental car back to the place. And she can't drive two cars. So I drove. She came and picked me up so I could drive one. And then she's going to take me back home. And the weather is starting up like it's rain snow mix now. So we're trying to hurry up so we can get back. So we both can get home. Because she got to take me home. And she still got to drive 20 minutes back to her house. So, but, um, yeah, we're just at the gas station. Because we just filled up the rental car's gas. And now she we got to fill up her car. Because her car was completely empty, like on E. So we're going to do this. The car dealership, I mean, the car rental place is not that far. It's probably, like less than 10 minutes from here probably like seven minutes from here and then um seven minutes from here and then my house is about 15 to 20 minutes away from there about 20 minutes so yeah oh here she comes how does it feel coming back to this bullshit after being in new orleans huh what's that what's i said that? How, no this is my vlog i said how does it feel coming back to this weather from New Orleans. Oh. <laughs> I'm finna be sick as a dog. And she said it was it. 85 degrees down there. The whole weekend. I can't remember where, I do, where the gas pump thing is. I know, that's, that's the trunk. The, that's the trunk. That's, that's the, the hood. Oh, Lord. Um, oh, we don't have one. Oh, it's a pop. pop. <laughs> I'm like, you be driving this car. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she was no coat, dresses, 85 degrees to this bullshit. Like, look at this. Like, look at all this stuff in my hair. It's wet. Oh, the snow. Nope. welcome back so every footage clip that I did um, every footage clip that I did with that shelf and after all was slow-mo I don't know what setting I hit on my camera but it was all slow-mo no audio nothing like so all that footage trash Stuff I re recorded afterwards, trash. So 
so now I'm having to start it over. But hi guys, how are you? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Here, let me show you guys. It's like beautiful out here. We just recently got snow, but I swear it's like 50 degrees outside. Well, maybe 40 something, I think. I haven't looked at the temperature, but sunny, beautiful skies. It's absolutely gorgeous. I will take this. Like, this is Wisconsin's bipolarness for you. Like, literally, bipolar weather. We just had cold and snow, and now it's getting warm. All this is gonna melt. I am on my way to the grocery store. I have to pick up a few things for my house, but also a few things for my mother-in-law as well. So I thought I'd go now. Um, knock on my outside of the house errands out now just knock those out which mostly all of them are at the grocery store <laughs> so gonna do that go home I was live streaming this morning putting my Lego set together and I'm going to finish live streaming once I get home so so I didn't have to stop streaming to go to the store then come back well I mean technically I did that this morning but I didn't even start putting the Lego sets together yet. I was like organizing the pieces. So I felt like that was a good time to um, to stop and run to the store. And then the hubby just woke up, so it was actually perfect. I was able to talk to my daughter, talk to my mother-in-law. My mom is probably gonna text me or call me while I'm out um, so before she goes to work. Because it's, yeah, it's Friday, so she goes back to work today. So I'm just gonna knock all of it out in that way. I could just put my phone on Do Not Disturb, put on a movie, have my little snacks and stuff all in my Lego area and just literally chill and do Legos on my live stream. Cause I figured out how to set up my stream labs and stuff. So that way I can stream across multiple platforms. Um, so today I started streaming on Twitch and um, YouTube. So I'm excited about that. I'm super excited about that. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. But let me drive, get to the store, and knock this out so I can go home and relax because tomorrow is going to be a busy, busy day. Tomorrow is a travel day. We have to travel down to Milwaukee. We're going to be down there early and be down there at least until like 2 or 3 o'clock, which means we'll probably get to his mom's about 4 to 4.15, and then we'll probably be there for about an hour to an hour and a half, and then go home. So we're going to have a long day tomorrow. So Sunday, I ain't doing shit. I'm not doing shit on Sunday. Sunday is a me day. I'm going to self-care. I'm going to chill. I am going to straight up chill. <sighs> but yes, let me drive. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, yes, I'm starting out the vlog in the car. But we are on our way down to Milwaukee to help some family move. And we're hoping that we knock this out in a few hours and then we can head back up here because it's gonna be a long day. We got up at, well, hubby's been up since before five. What, like four? Like four o'clock, I got up at five. And it's 619 right now. So we'll make it down there about eight-ish and then knock it out, get some food and then come back home but we're gonna stop and visit my mother-in-law on the way back home because we're gonna pass her on our way home. So we're gonna stop and say hi to her and um, I'm gonna give her a haircut because she's been requesting it. So I'm gonna cut her hair and um, yeah, we'll stop by there, say hi, then go home and relax because our bodies are gonna be shot after this. <laughs> so, but at least it's not a lot. So, you know, what's family for? We can be here to help, right? So help your loved ones if they need it. Oh, 
but we're gonna continue this drive. I'm gonna put back on our Sade playlist and just cruise. So hope you guys have a good day, productive day. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Crystal. Welcome to the vlog. Trader Joe's and I got some because we don't have a Trader Joe's in Green Bay y'all if y'all have a Trader Joe's near y'all and y'all see this tangerine juice you'll thank me later it's better than regular orange juice it is so good so but we're just gonna do this drive get home and call it one can't can't do it no more <laughs> good morning guys the day after the aftermath i'm not as tired as i was yesterday but i am more sore like i told the hubby where how people have a hangover after drinking we have our moving hangover our bodies are sore as shit my shoulder i feel like i hit it but i don't remember hitting it okay oh my bad y'all we're trying to get our lives together it's early as shit in the morning and this little one look at her y'all she rest to go. She rest to go. <laughs> she love car trips. And this is exactly why we got this for her. Literally, it's 7.40 in the morning, and you guys wouldn't believe what we're about to do. Go get a car wash. <laughs> We've been up since 5.30. So, it's, so the hubby said, fuck it, let's... What have you done today? <laughs> right, what have you done today? Where you went to get a car wash? Oh, here's your wallet. Oh, I need some chapstick. I'm talking to y'all, my lips dry as a bitch. There we go. I'm wearing the same hoodies yesterday. No, I'm not uh, wearing the same thing. I just like this hoodie. Talk about my shirt. Yeah, but this is a hoodie fall. though. This is a hoodie. I know. Oh. oh, can't see. Oh my gosh. I'm hit this rock. <laughs> right. <laughs> Please do not run it over. You got stuck on that? Yeah, it was a, in, a, a pickup truck. Yeah. How do you do that? I don't know, but not paying attention. 900 pound rock. Like literally y'all, it's a boulder. They have boulders the on a back end was thing stuck and the whole, here. yeah, the whole back end of the truck How was stuck. How you miss that shit? I don't know. Excuse my language. Oh, we curse on my blog. Oh, we are sail we're sailors over me. here. <laughs> we curse like sailors. And this one, all you hear is her sliding around back there. Look at her tail. Look. 
She's just and happy to be on the car ride. Just don't fuck up the tent first. Right. Put your clothes. Okay. She loves a good car ride. She's a good car doggy. She is. She just want to get out the house. Right. She, I'm ready to do whatever you want to do. I don't no. shit. We can throw our whole garbage away. Right. But just guys, she, if your dogs ever damage, start damaging stuff when you leave them in places, literally give them freedom around the house. They have anxiety. Because precious, separation. right, she was having such separation anxiety when we left that she used to damage our rugs, like picking pieces, all types of stuff, right? Like under the door, like she was trying to get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it was always under the doorway, like she was trying to get out. And once we gave her free reign of the house, when I, I just one day I was like, babe, let's just keep the doors open. She has I not damaged anything. She has never rummaged through garbage cans. She, she's moving in the house. Because... I think she gets the room and then she gets to be like, okay, I'm gonna go lay down until they get home it or whatever. Her, yeah, but that was a great idea. for some reason it popped up in my head like, okay, let's just leave the door open and now we leave the doors open. I knew after 18 years you was gonna come up with that good suggestion. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> she's not even 18 years old. <laughs> no, no, okay. I got her when you were. Uh, we, she's 14, so we it was uh, four years into our relationship you got her for me as a kid. And you know the crazy part, y'all? Him and my and and my youngest, they were they were trying to surprise me, and they were like, "Let's go to Kmart." Okay, we don't go to the Kmart, and it's not close to where we live, right? And so we go in there, and we start going into the pet section. And I'm like, we don't have a, we had a dog at the time, but I was like, well, we can get one. But sometime. the stuff, yeah, the stuff we were getting was like for puppies, you know, like looking at puppy stuff, and. In the same plaza of the parking lot was a pet world, a puppy world, and they took me over there and got a puppy, and that's where she came. And hey, that was five hundred dollars of love that keeps on giving. Right, but also I was about to get her sibling. Her sibling was a little black um, Shih Tzu Bashan mix like her. It was her brother, I think, and I was about to go to the black one, and then she came up to me and started loving on me, and I said, nope that I want her and you guys she was like I, I literally on the way home I held her like this this is how small she was and she didn't bark for like she, five months yeah she, she didn't she, bark for the longest she quiet she, dog she didn't know her voice hey, but when she found her little bark she wouldn't shut so the cute. fuck up <laughs> like, arr, arr. but it was it was so crazy y'all like she she uh she was the quietest little like I literally and literally that's where her name precious came from because I was like she is just so precious I didn't name her Snoopy Snoopy. Yeah, well, yep. she was a boy. I would have named Snoop. her Snoopy. But um not for Snoop Dogg. Look at the for, goose. For Snoopy. I see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's so a, that's a pheasant. I no, it's a goose. Oh, it is a goose. I would have held it like this. I would have held her like this on the way home in nah, the car. Mm -hmm. And they lied to us in this because I was like, is she gonna grow, is she gonna grow bigger? Because we want a small dog. Yeah. They're like, nope. She that's her size. Yeah. And you lied like a man. Right. Like a motherfucker. We're back at home guys I had to come back out to the car because I left y'all in the glove compartment I just stopped at Walgreens and got the necessary stuff that I need to glue on to glue back on my camera lens oh you know what while I'm down here let me just switch out this laundry You guys, look what I found at Walgreens. I found a little Hedwig Squishmallow. And <laughs> a little Harry. It's going right on my shelf. And I found the hubby, this one. He loves Snoopy. I found this one. I also got him this Snoopy too a while back. But I'm building up his Snoopy Charlie Brown connection. He loves peanuts. All right, go and fix you guys. Hmm. Now where to put them? Where to put them? I have so much room. I don't want to put them too low. I'll probably put them right over here. Cause they're, they're just too cute. I'll put them over here. Yeah, 
I'll just put them right here for now. Perfect! Continuously adding to my Harry Potter collection. Alright, now let me officially fix you guys. It, I'm standing outside my house. I'm waiting for the eclipse to start. And um, I'm wearing some a pair of my fishing glasses to, to block it. But the clouds keep going over the, the sun, which sucks. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't get covered so we can see it. Oh, now it's covered again. Here, let me show you. Now it's covered, so I gotta wait. Hey guys I'm so salty like y'all just saw I was outside with the clips and stuff and that was fun and then I come in the house and I said oh my camera I forgot it was sitting here and I was letting the glue adhere to the camera with my with my wide angle lens why is this damaged now you can't even like let's see if you guys can notice there is a super bad film on this glass and I can't get it clean like this isn't even doing it any justice like you you guys see that glare like there those are all built up on my on my lens so now this $50 lens is crap and now I have all this white shit on the front of my camera like I, I think I need a whole new vlogging camera because there's film around the inside like a foggy film that won't come off that's around the actual lens of this camera and I could see it and I could feel it with my finger and not to mention all this white buildup y'all I'm so salty like I did not want to have to spend money on a new camera and now I'm have to like, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. I'm probably not going to vlog the rest of the day. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll probably vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to have to go out at some point. Like, I honestly want to go to Best Buy right now. It's 321. Like, I honestly want to go to Best Buy right now. But I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to go in the heat of the moment. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and then go look at a camera. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry, but this is real shit, and I'm pissed. I'm so pissed off. Like, y'all don't know how bad I want to chuck this, but I have a lot of expensive shit in this room, and I don't want to risk breaking something else. But I'm so mad. I $50 down the drain. $50 fucking dollars down the drain. I know myself, and I know what I want. October, baby, you know what I'm on. Why I sell, baby, I'm East Let Laurent. Whoa, once I ride a DM slider, family and friends provider. What? Yes, I'm him, that ass too slim. I need that shit a little wider. What? I'm with the O's and I'm with the crows and I'm with the real King Spider. What? Gang too wild up, I'm too fired up. She let me fucking the lie.